So here we are, 20th of December. Merry Christmas, everybody. This is going to be our Christmas video. It's going to be something a little bit different this year. And what I did, I decided to draw some money at my bank, go to McDonald's, get some burgers, and go and give them to the homeless. Go and give them something hot to eat. I put this on the Motorev Facebook page and said to anybody, a burger's 89 pence. If anybody wants to donate, put your 89 pence in my PayPal. And in my little tank bag here, through our good friends and members of the Motorev, we've got £100. Can you believe it? £100 people have donated. So we're going to get some burgers. We'll probably pop to Greg's, go get some sausage rolls and that's all. I'm going to head to Birmingham way. And we're going to go and feed the homeless. That's going to be our little Christmas mission. And what we're going to do, I'm going to, I'm going to try a little bit of a social experiment. I'm going to see if goodwill attracts goodwill. Does it bring goodness? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to McDonald's. I'm going to order 10 burgers, 10 chicken burgers, and I'm going to say, does McDonald's, does this branch, want to donate anything to the food? Is there anything free you want to add? So we will see if there is any goodwill. So you've seen your, your delivery, just eat, Uber deliveries. Well, today I'm going to be Tuba deliveries, the YouTube version, but delivering fast food free to the homeless. There is no profit, nothing is going in the pocket. The only profit is probably going into McDonald's's till. So, what I'm going to do, I am going to film going into McDonald's. I'm going to put this forward facing camera onto my helmet. Because with my helmet mounted camera, the microphone's inside the helmet and you won't hear anything. So I'm going to use the forward facing camera on the helmet. I'm probably going to blur it. Because obviously if McDonald's turn around and say, no, we're not going to give you anything free. Yes, we are going to name and shame you McDonald's, but I'm not going to name and shame the person. So I'll probably blur that part. So in the air. Here we go, there's our first McDonald's over there. So Birmingham we have, I'd imagine like any other town, any other city, we have a hell of a lot of homeless. And I went up to Birmingham uh, Saturday for my birthday with a wife, we went into Birmingham for some drinks. St Paul's Cathedral in the middle. Um, God, there was hundreds of people queued up outside the church. Now, I, at first, I thought, oh, have they got like a Santa in there? Is it a Santa's grotto for the kids? But what it was, it was the church was putting on hot soup and bread rolls for the homeless, and all the people queued up were homeless, waiting for some hot soup. And it was horrible walking past them. You know, I'd got my T-shirt on, my hoodie on, my big thick coat. I was going out for a good time to spend money to get drunk. And they were just queuing just for a little paper cup of hot soup. So this video is not about us. This is not a matter of video of us being stupid. This is a video of giving back. And what we all should do on times like this. Let's go around here. So I've got my top box on. So I can put all the food in the top box. Yeah, let's park it up here. But let's get off the bike, unloaded, and get this camera on the helmet. Let's go and see how generous they are. Hiya, you go. Oh, yeah, yeah. Can I put on an order, please? Yeah, of course you yeah. can. Can I order 10 hamburgers, 10 chicken mayos? That's it. Yeah. Uh, what I'm doing, I'm buying it. And I'm driving to the home and giving it to them. So is there anything you want to donate in their food? If you want to put a couple of fries in, feel free. Merry Christmas. 
Quando vocês pular um, dois, três. Did we get anything free? I don't think we did. We'll have a look when we get to the bike. So that's McDonald's on the Wolverhampton Road. McDonald's didn't contribute. Right, so McDonald's, Wolverhampton Road. They have not contributed towards helping feed the homeless. Shame on you. You could have even put one small fries in, which probably cost you a penny. But never mind. There are plenty of other good people in this world who might donate. Right, here's my box on. Yes. Right, let's go and hand this food out. Excuse me. I've got a top box full of McDonald's for the homeless. Do you know where there's any homeless? I saw it on Saturday, I saw lots of them, yeah. but I can't see any today. No. I'll have a little right if I can see any of them. Thank you, Enio. There's obviously somebody who's homeless there, but where are they? Where have these people gone? I honestly don't get it. I don't I don't understand. There's a tent, is there somebody over there? There's four burgers there, pay. Okay, mate. So we're on day two, 22nd of December. So a couple of days ago, I went and bought a load of burgers and we went into Birmingham to find the homeless. And it all failed miserably. I drove around Birmingham for two hours, over two hours, about two hours and 20 minutes, and I found one homeless person. I couldn't believe it. Now, when I went on the Saturday, there was homeless everywhere. But what I've since found out is during the week, with there being the lack of people in the city centre, apart from those men who work there, a lot of the homeless head towards the shelters and the soup kitchens because um, they don't get they're not very successful with begging in the week obviously with not many people being there which makes sense why I couldn't find many homeless people so on the way home I did find one on the Hagley Road which is the main road into Birmingham and I noticed his tent was in the central reservation so I pulled over, gave him four burgers. I thought, I will find more, so I carried on. 
about three and a half hours I was out, couldn't find anybody. Checked in me top box, all the burgers had just sweated in the bag and turned to mush. It was, it was horrendous. So I ended up throwing 16 burgers in the bin. I gave out four, we threw 16 away. So I was a bit gutted off that. I was gobsmacked and I, I failed. So I still got 80 pound left. Still got 80 pound to do something with. So I checked with the people who donated. Did they want the money back? You know, or are they okay for me to do something else with the money? Everybody said, you know, do what you think is right with it. They didn't want it back. So what I've decided to do is buying the burgers at 89 pence. Yeah, I think the idea was there, but is it really helping? So I think what I want to do is I can't help the masses at the moment. So instead of helping the masses, I'm going to concentrate on one. I'm going to try and make a difference to one person for Christmas. And we're going to find that guy, if he's still there in the tent. I mean, at the moment now, it's minus one. I've only got my biking jeans on and, oh my God, my legs are absolutely freezing. So we're going to go and find this one person. Now, he had a tent. Now I'm going to, go, hopefully, if he's there, you know, I want to ask him, is there anything in here? Has he got a sleeping bag? What's he, what's he sleeping on? You know, has he, is there anything he needs? You know, just to, just to make him that little bit more comfortable. You know, it's not going to turn his tent, unfortunately, in December into a luxury pad. But, I wonder if I can just help offer a little bit more comfort. So I'm hoping he's there. I'm going to have a chat with him. See if there's anything I can do to help. So I'm hoping we can make a difference to one person. If we help one person, then the motor of us have done their job. It would have been nice to help many more. Maybe this is something we need to plan more earlier on before December, but I think if we can help one person make a difference to that person then hopefully this Christmas we have done our job. I know we do our winter's camping, which we're planning on doing the 8th of January but obviously ours is, we're taking the mickey with it to be honest, you know we find a campsite, it's got hot showers it's got toilets we only use a campsite where there's a pub on site so we can sit in there all night in the warmth, having a hot meal. We make sure there's electric there so we can have our heaters on in our tent. So, you know, there's no comparison. To us, it's just a novelty thing, which, which going to see this guy today is, makes you think, doesn't it? It's, it's not something to be laughed at. It's not a joke. You know, a lot of these people, homeless, haven't even got a tent. So let's just go. We're going to go the back streets to Birmingham. Let's go and see if we can help him. I'm pretty sure he's just up here on the right hand side. Yes, his tent's still there. Is he in there? Do you need a sleeping bag? Is there anything I can get you? <laughs> I can get you a new sleeping bag if you want. I'll go and get you some stuff and bring it back. Do you want some food? Yeah? Give me half hour, I'll be back. 
Okay, mate. Right, he's not sounding. He's not sounding very good. He's coughing a lot. Right. Okay. Let's come up with an idea. Let's come up with a plan. Looking at him there, there's an old wet sleeping bag which looks all damp and wet. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna go and get him a new sleeping bag. There's a camp shop nearby. That tent is tiny. I wouldn't even use that tent to camp in myself. Yeah, so what I'm gonna do guys, I'm gonna go to the camping shop the rest of the money we've got I'm gonna go and get him a, a good sleeping bag a proper four season one which will be better for the winter for him see if there's anything else there we can pick up which you know which might come in handy okay so here I am Hales Owen I'm at Toshua in Hales Owen so what we are gonna do I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna buy this guy a decent sleeping bag. Let's see if there's something we can sort for him. Instead of wasting the money on some burgers, I think I think this might this might benefit him more. See if we can get him an airbed or somewhere, somewhere to sleep on. Somewhat dry. Right. Let's go and have a look. There's an homeless guy on Agley Road in a tent, so I'm buying him a sleeping bag. I want to get him a, yeah, yeah. I want to get him an airbed or something. Yes, yeah, I've seen him, he's got a rucksack by his tent. Yeah, give him that there, Bob. Are you sure? Yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah. So this is one of them self-inflate things, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, I don't know if it's working properly, but... Well, well it's at least, it's spongy, isn't it, so it'll... Yeah. Uh, I should, if yeah. you don't mind the writing. No, that's fine. I'll be able to get that in my rucksack. Oh, you're that's, on the fire. Yeah, that's fine, yeah, I can mold it to get the rucksack somewhere. Yeah. Or I can strap it to my rucksack. Is it easy to roll from this end? Roll the air out. Let me put it down there so we don't. Wow. Toe shiver. Thank you very much. That's like a 70 pound air mattress. Yeah, I've seen the guy there for weeks and weeks and I thought it's too cold to be homeless yeah. with. Twenty, forty, sixty, eighty. Thank you again, Merry Christmas, thank you. Bye bye. Wow, wow, wow. Toshua, thank you very much. So I've bought
So I've brought him a four season waterproof sleeping bag. I've brought him a fleece. Sleeping bag was 48, fleece was 30. They've donated a woolly hat. And they've donated an air mattress. That's amazing. Still can't believe it. See? Goodwill does exist. Thank you, Toshua. Merry Christmas. Well, there we go. Just been to get a sleeping bag from Toshua. And the manager's donated a hat. Yeah. Uh, Donated a hat and a sleeping mat, self-inflating sleeping mat, which I think was seventy nine ninety nine. That is goodwill at Christmas. Thank you, Toshua, McDonald's. You need to take a leaf out of Toshiba's book. Oh, sorry, I'm out of breath. I've just been trying to get all of this on my rucksack. Toshiba, that was amazing. Thank you very much. I will definitely send an email into your head office, whoever you are, the manager at Toshiba Hal's Owen. Thank you very much. I don't know your name, but thank you very, very much for that kind gesture. And she's even looking round to try and give me a free sleeping bag, an X display one. But I did choose to buy the sleeping bag because it is a four season waterproof, so I wanted to make sure it was a good one. Right, is he here? Is he here? Uh, mate, I bought you some stuff. What's that, Bob? I've got you. I've got you a bed. Yeah. Self-inflating sleeping bag. Yeah. Self-inflating sleeping bag. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Go try hot drinks, didn't you? Yeah, coffee. Take a bag of bags for years, that's okay. Sorry? How long you had a bag for? Oh, 23 years. Never fell off? Three times. Yeah, that question went to run. But I never learned how to ride a bag. You ride one on the field, but now I wouldn't just myself. Yeah. No, it's a... I don't think I've got much with me today. But you can have whatever I've got, mate. Thank you, Craig. Terry? I'll come and find you, mate. I'll, I'll, I'll bring you more stuff. Thank you, Craig. Thank you. Okay, mate. I'll come and find you Christmas as well. Thank you, Craig. See you later. He was in. Just as it started raining. He's got his bed. I told him the bed's waterproof. You can leave it outside for a bit. He's got his sleeping bag. His name's Terry. Lost his girlfriend eight weeks ago. Don't know what to. He doesn't drink. Terry, I will come and find you Christmas Day, my friend. I will bring you some hot food. And that is thank you to all the Motor Rev, ugh, the Motor Rev brothers and sisters. Thank you all for chipping in. Looks like looks like we might have helped somebody, not by a great lot. We're not curing his problems. We're not taking away. Any pain he's got, the misery of being out here in winter, but we are doing a little bit for Christmas for him. Couldn't have done it without all of you. It's a little things, guys. Sometimes you only need the little things to help. If we can get a bit of encouragement to him, a bit more encourage him to keep going. Well, it's the big day. It's Christmas Day. Merry Christmas, everybody. Happy New Year. Hope you've all woke up to plenty of presents and a nice big hot breakfast getting ready for your Christmas dinner. So what time are we on? It is now 12.39, so it's early dinner time, Christmas dinner. What we're doing, we're going to sit out, wait, I've got a bag here, we've got him his Christmas dinner. So we've got him some hot chicken and stuffing cobs, some hot sausage cobs, we've got him, we've got a, but we've got a flask, a flask of coffee, he said he, he likes coffee, so we'll give him the coffee. Uh, mince pies, sausage rolls, packet of biscuits, packet of crisps, cans of pop, and I've also got a big, a big Toblerone, big Christmas Toblerone for him. So last night was horrendous, horrendous weather last night, the rain, it was really, really bad here. So, I'm hoping it wasn't too bad for him in his tent. I hope he's there. Yeah, there's a chance he might have gone to a shelter or or something like that today. I think quite a few of the charities do put on hot food for them. But I've got this just in case. I mean, if he's not there, I can... I don't want to go in his tent. I might just leave it by the door of his tent. So let's go and see if he's there. He's got a new tent. He's got somebody else with him.
he's got a new tent somebody's donated to him so he's got something better to sleep in I've told him keep the flask I'll come back tomorrow and fill it up Merry Christmas Terry try and stay dry mate you got your new tent hopefully that might work for you I imagine Christmas Day there in the middle of Birmingham. Merry Christmas, buddy. At least we're helping him. We're trying to. We're trying to help him. We're trying to help the majority and it didn't work so I think a little bit of help we're doing for the one for Terry might make a difference to his life even if today just gives him some at even if it just gives him a hot meal let's give him something so Merry Christmas everybody Merry Christmas Terry Happy New Year 2022 we can only get better and for you Terry, we'll see what we can do to keep you sorted mate. We'll see if we can get you back on your feet. But a thanks to the MotorWeb guys, everybody who's chipped in. I hope we're making a difference for you. So remember guys, even if you can only help one person, you're helping. And it can make a difference. So I'm going to leave that there. Enjoy your Christmas day, enjoy your Christmas night. Enjoy Boxing Day. We'll go and see Terry again on Boxing Day. Bring him a Boxing Day dinner. Merry Christmas everybody, see you soon. Ciao for now. <laughs>